The 1998 Conference Finals are upon us on the 40-year sim. Let's jump into Bulls-Bucks Game 1. As I always do with the Finals and Conference Finals, I jump into the games and let the announcers do the talking. I will come back when this game is over. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Floats one. Here's Shaq. Takes it off the glass. O'Neal's got 30. O'Neal throwing himself around and coming away with the bucket. He is an absolute wrecking ball and a gigantic one on the glass. Now here's Sanders. Jordan on the wing. King outside. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Anderson. It's all in by the Bulls. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. Harper against Hardaway. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Pass to Jordan. O'Neal with the rebound. Bucks leading by six. Wayne Hardaway. He's guarded by Harper. O'Neal is screen on Harper. Here's Hardaway. Hands the 12 footer. Hardaway has got 31. So efficient from the mid range. Hardaway looks to score from there whenever he can. Hardaway against Harper. Pass to Jordan. And again. He is simply torching the defense that has no answers for him. Bucks have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Poked away. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Pippen against Anderson. Pippen the pass to Sanders. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Nice timing on that rejection from Chet, demonstrating why. You gotta take him seriously as a defensive player when he's lurking near the bucket inside. Third personal foul. First team foul. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers with the hustle stats for the Bucks. At the line for two. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Pretty much a six foot seven point guard. Penny is a unique talent and a fan favorite. Heck, a broadcaster's favorite as well. I love watching him play. Chicago making a switch here. Rodman's checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Bulls trail by seven. Pippen with it. Out to the right wing. And the pass to Rodman. The shot from the low post is good. Solid pass from King. Excellent job finding and hitting the open man. Out left of the wing. Anderson passes to O'Neal. Back to Anderson. Jordan against Hardaway. Down to five on the shot clock. And stolen by Jordan. High post, Pippen, working on Anderson. And Shaq comes to help. And here are the Bulls now. It's a five-point game. Outside, Pippen. Six on the shot clock. Outside, Harper for three. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here is Anderson. Pass to O'Neal. 
Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. On the wing, Hardaway. Grant sets a screen for Hardaway. Shot from 12, and that one goes long. Enzo Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Harper the pass to Jordan, and the dunk by Jordan. Lighting it up, Michael on one tonight. Bucks leading by three. Outside Hardaway. O'Neal a screen on Jordan. That's good from Shaq on the assist from Benny Hardaway. Shaq's got four points in the quarter. Good recognition. You have the mismatch, go to work. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Rodman sets the screen for Pippen. And the Bulls tack on two more. I think this is one of the sweet spots for Pippen's jumper. He thrives in the mid-range game. They get a hand on it. Matt passes to Anderson. Trying to find Shaq. He's got it now. Buries it down low. Shaq's got 34. Well, the defense tries to slow Shaq down inside, but emphasis on tries because O'Neal just too strong. King, the pass to Jordan. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And he's able to get it back. Now Hardaway. That's to O'Neal. Rodman brings the double team. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Here's Hardaway over Rodman. Hardaway, no good. And he knows he's got to convert in these situations. No excuse given the limited defense on him. Right at the free throw line. They get it again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hey, there's a reason King is out there in these moments. Capable of coming up big. Hardaway passes to Anderson. O'Neal with it. Defended by Rodman. Rodman brings the double team in the corner. Hardaway with it. Connects from three-point range. Hardaway has got 35. This is clearly a man on fire. It was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Here's Jordan. And Rodman with the slam. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Clutch basket from the worm. Out there for more than his defense and rebounding. Grant outside. Pass to Shaq. Hartman brings the double team. Shaq kicks to Grant. Here's Pat. Puts one up from 19. Offensive rebound. Well, here's a center who can put up 40, 50, 60. I mean, there's really no limit to what Shaq can do scoring the basketball. Outside, Harper. Puts it up from 15. Milwaukee with the rebound. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. The pass to Hardaway. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. And it's good. The time running down. In the that Penny Hardaway bucket with makes right. it an eight-point game with just over a minute left. And it's safe to say the Bucks have won that game. 39 points for Penny Hardaway. 56 points for Michael Jordan. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Sonics Nuggets, are we going to be able to jump into a, a game right away? Are we going to have to simcast the first one at least? I know we jump into at least a couple of these. Let's see if this is one of them. Nah, 109.91 is the final score there. Sonics beat the Nuggets uh, in game one in Denver. So we got 1-0 Bucks, 1-0 Sonics. Checking out game two now. And it looks like the Bulls have gotten off to a big lead. Hey, the Bucks. Let's jump in. Right 
now. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Pass to Barry. Sinks that one from the post. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. And another great look at the 2K drop. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. It's Pippen on the win. Jordan outside. Rodman sets the screen for Jordan. And the three off target. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Pass to Burton. Here's Barrett. Six to shoot. Rodman with the block. Nasty defense from Rodman, part of his signature. I mean, he's really good at that end of the floor, and he can turn shots away, too. Bucks trail by five. Barry the pass to Ben. Over to the wing. Here's Barry, guarded by Pippen, and the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That is his first foul of the game. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Hey, bringing that postseason intensity, so critical. You know, these plays can change the trajectory and outcome of a game. Grant outside. Screen by Grant. Rodman with the block. Now, here's Pippen. Defense is right there. Way to punch it, Scotty Pippen. The athleticism, impressive. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. He's a solid mid-range shooter, but just wasn't able to knock that one down. Harper up top. Side Pippen. Hodman sets a screen. It's Pippen with a drive. Doesn't go that time. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Barry the pass to Pat. Here's Burton. Puts it up from 17. And Pippen pulls it down. Outside Harper. King left side. It's Jordan, top of the key. Just five to shoot. Good D by Anderson. This is what happens to streaky shooters. He couldn't miss in the first half, and now he can't buy one. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Pippen outside. Outside, Jordan. Harper with a screen on Anderson. And a wide open look for Jordan. Here's Rodman. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for Chappelle. O'Neal's checked in for the Bucks. At the line for one. throw drops for Rodman. Only 5 foot 11 in high school. Rodman didn't even make the varsity basketball team. Quite the story. The hey, Nanny Sports Gamer here. Let's jump ahead. This game gets closer. Right about now. For the game. Kerr outside. Rodman with a screen on Anderson. Jordan can't get it to go. And it's Anderson with the ball for Milwaukee. Seven-point differential. Grant outside. The feed to O'Neal. Plays it up and banks it in. 
O'Neal's got 18 points now here in the second half. They need a bucket, and they go right to the guy. Her the pass to King. Hard away against Kerr. They get a hand on it. Outside Pippen. Outside for Jordan. Stolen by Grant. Oh, and here comes Anderson all alone. He dishes it to Hardaway. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Rodman's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Jordan against Anderson. Kerr outside. And that one is good. And the Bulls lead by seven. Solid pass from King. Excellent job finding and hitting the open man. Kerr against Hardaway. Chicago grabs the miss. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Jordan. A rebound by the Bucks. Shaq's got 11 rebounds in the game. Hard away against Kirk. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut to just... Now, here's Jordan. Over Anderson. Offensive rebound. Rodman. And the rebound paying off as they pick up Kellogg and Mike for... Okay, the game got closer, but not that close. I'll admit it. But still, fun to see the Bulls tie the series. 33 points for Michael Jordan, 28 and 11 for the MVP, Shaq. And, ah, oh, man, I forgot about that narrative, man. Shaq should have never won MVP because Michael Jordan is going to make it his mission to make sure he pays for that MVP award. He would say something like, Shaq, one MVP? Okay. All right. All right. I'll just win this. You know, that's kind of that's kind of how he rolls. So I already feel bad for these Bucks. Unless they can, you know, withstand that. You know, maybe they can still uh, win and, and make it to the finals, despite the fact that Michael Jordan has made it his personal mission to get revenge because he didn't win MVP. So we'll see. Meanwhile, we got I got a couple of good candidates for thumbnails. Let's jump into Nuggets Sonics game two. Yeah. Now Marley. Pass to Morris. Ellis against Fort. Ellis kicks to Marley, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Sonics trail by five. Here's Abdul Raouf. Here's Smith. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. Pretty play by Rick Smith. Gets hit with the foul, but still converts on the shot. Rick Smith. One shot. Here's Marley. Out to the right wing. Releases. Releases from the wing and drills it. Part of Wally's game he is focused on? Playmaking. Putting work in on it. Trail by four. Here's the pass to Thorpe. Here's Bowen. Here's Petrovic. Shoot. Here's a boom roof. Here's Smith. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. 
I like when Smith slams his foot on the gas pedal. Just go to work right now. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And a close game, you got to find the edge. High energy plays like that one can make a big difference. Ellis down low, covered by Thorpe. Keeps it alive. Great positioning on the putback. And the Nuggets lead by four. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. Here's Abdul Raouf. Rebounded by Ellis. Ellis has got double digit rebounds now in the game. To the wing on the left. On the wing, Morris. Ellis against Fort. Ellis can't get it to go. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Pass to Bowen. Here's Smith, covered by Morris. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Smith's. Well, standing seven foot four with a soft shooting touch, that mid-range jumper of Smith's is nearly impossible to defend. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away free points at the line. The feed to Morris. This one for three. And it's Dan Marley with the three. Marley's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The pass to Bowen. Great defense that time from Ellis. Denver leading by five. Laylock. Abdul Raouf covering. Matumbo misses. The Supersonics have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Earned some solid hooks for them. Petrovic covered by Morris. Pass to Bowen. Six to shoot. Off the left rim and up. Denver's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Takes a step back. Morris dishes to Mark. And it's off from three point range. Coach, they're ice cold in the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Scrappy under the basket. Great straight for pulling the board. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by seven. And Marley, boy, I tell you what, he does a nice job being creative inside, exploiting any holes close to the basket. Here's Abdul Raouf. No good from 18. Marley kicks to Ellis. Out left of the wing. Laylock. Abdul Raouf covering. And here's Marley outside. He can't get that one to fall. Seattle goes the other way with it. Rolling the pass to Abdul Raouf. The end of the drought. Here's Petrovic. And once again, off the mark by Seattle. You know, normally he sinks those three. Nice job by the defender, not allowing him to have an easy look. Matumbo passes to Ellis. Over Thorpe. Seattle grabs the miss. Petrovic. And there's the pass to Bowen. Here's Smith. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. This is it to Bowen. Here's Thorpe. He's guarded by Ellis. Fires the three. Petrovic's shot is off. And that's the kind of shot that will get you called out in a film session. Horrible attempt. He needs to focus on taking much better attempts. Morris outside. Laylock. 
What's next? The free throw drops for Matumbo. And when you think of Matumbo, his defense comes to mind. Specifically how terrific of a shot blocker and rebounder he is. Lakers jump in for the Nuggets. And the Supersonics also making a change. Kemp's checked in for four. Both shots good from the strike. Denver Nuggets win that game 105-97. To much to delight, much to the delight of the Denver crowd. And 30 points for Dikemi Matumbo, 12 rebounds. Great performance from him. And the Nuggets win. They tie that series. So we have two series that are both tied at 1-1. And I'm going to save. I don't I don't know why you need to see that. You don't need to see that. Uh, but let's jump into, oh, let's see. Do we? Can we jump into game three of Bucks Bulls? Ooh, maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't. That's, uh, that's a route, folks. That's what you call a good old-fashioned blowout. 124-110. Final score there. 35 points for Michael Jordan. You know what? They're in Chicago. So, yeah. So, now, now the Bulls are having that home field advantage thing. Home court advantage. Uh... Taking it, taking, taking that, uh, taking advantage of that, right? So, Sonics, Nuggets, Game Four. Um, yeah, I think we can jump into this. There's Petrovic. Bowen, the pass to Petrovic. Right wing. Here's Bowen. Covered by Morris. Petrovic. Denver grabs the miss. Now here's Ellis. Matumbo sets a screen. Second shot opportunity. Kemp with the steal. Here's McDaniel. Started by Marlon. Abdul Rahouf, he's checked in for McDaniel. On defense, the Nuggets. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Smith passes to Abdul Rahouf. Here's Petrovic. The Sonics again can't hit. The Nuggets trail by three. Laywalk. Abdul Raouf covering. Matumbo is screen on Abdul Raouf. The Nuggets with another miss. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. Here's Kemp. And it's Denver with the rebound. Ellis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Abdul Raouf covering. Matumbo is screen on Abdul Raouf. And the shot goes in. In a big moment, you go to your star. And that's what they did. And he delivers. As a team, they have a lot of confidence in him taking those high-pressure shots. And he embraces the challenge. Here's Abdul Raouf. Over in the corner, Kemp. Good on the three-point shot. Kemp's got 20 points. This team tries to involve Kemp in the offense in every possible way. Laylock, Abdul Raouf covering. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Sean Kemp picks one up right there. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Supersonics. And he can't get the first one.
so he can't get either to fall. Sonics leading by four. Kemp passes to Bowen. Back to Kemp. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Here's Petrovic. And too long on the shot. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. And here's Marley outside. Petrovic with the rebound. Petrovic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Down low. Kim passes to Abdul Rauf. Rebound by the Nuggets. Matumbo's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. The pass to Ellis. Morris outside. Laylock. The Nuggets with another miss. Seattle is on three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Smith, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Feed that big man. Let Smiths eat. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Throw good, Ellis. Oh, free throws good from Ellis. Sonics leading by four. Here's Abdul Rauf. A 19-foot shot. Bullseye! And I like how versatile he is on offense. Capable of burning defenses in so many ways. Harley passes to Morris. Ellis outside. Dan Marley on the wing. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Matumbo. And it's the Kembe with the jam. What an outstanding play by Matumbo. Showing up for his team with some assertive offense. Pass to Bowen. The feed now to Kemp. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Kemp's got to just give away golden opportunities. And we'll see if they can clean it up, guys. Thank you, David. Now Marley. Morris outside. Back to Marley. Six on the shot clock. Let's it fly. The Nuggets with another miss. Seattle leading by six. Passes it to Petrovic. Another three for Seattle. That draws in Petrovic three would seal the game for the Sonics. 82-73. Gotta love that. Very late 90s, uh, 2000s-esque score <laughs> for the NBA. Uh, let's jump in. Er, okay, I gotta watch my word usage here because I don't know if we can jump into this game. Let's see if this game ends up being jump worthy. It's more uh, would be a more accurate way to describe this situation. The Bulls at some point lead for the Bucks now. Yeah, let's jump in. Here's Pat. Passes to O'Neal. Banked in off the glass. Shaq's got 16 here in the second half. Boy, they keep feeding Shaq, and he keeps scoring. The big guy giving his team exactly what they want. Harper the pass to Pippen. Rebound, Milwaukee. Grant's got rebound number five here tonight. That's the pass. That's the pass. It's tipped. So the ball out of bounds. Rodman touched it last. You know, deflections are key. They're big in this league. You want to be disruptive to the other team's offense. Yeah, little tips like that, they can frustrate opponents. And so it's Milwaukee now. 
22 is their biggest lead. To the left wing. Shot clock at two. Barry misses. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. There's the double team with Grant. And the pass to Pippen. Ball is knocked loose to the left side wing. Here's King. It's blocked by Shaq. Nice timing on that rejection from Shaq, demonstrating why. You've got to take him seriously as a defensive player when he's lurking near the bucket inside. Here's Pat. Here's Barry. And the layup's good off the glass. Barry's got five points now in the quarter. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. They need to find a high-percentage shot, Clark, to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down, and that begins to mess with your psyche. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High-energy plays like that one are winning plays. On defense, Milwaukee. 11-point game. Six to shoot. Here's Harper. And he's fouled pretty hard. Impressive. I mean, it helps him make contributions on both ends because he's always putting forth great effort. What hustle on the offensive glass. Finding ways to capitalize. Paying off that hard work. Upside Pippen. feet out that one off the back iron and out and it's Anderson with the ball for the Bucks. they lead by 11 fires the three shots good from Barry Barry's got eight points in the quarter I think he's got to show more fight than that can't give up on the play once you get screen you got to continue to fight through and coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort or lack of one that is now, here's Harper. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Harper's got 10 points here in the second half. That is where Harper likes to shoot it from. Back passes to Grant. Here's Shaq. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First team. Shooting from Milwaukee. Shakur Oli. At the line for two. Good from O'Neal. He's over seven feet tall and well north of 300 LBs. Shaq is a mountain of a man and as unique a big guy as we've had in the league in its history. But I think what makes him so special, he moves extremely well at that size. Michael Jordan is checked in for the Bulls. He's perfect from the line this time. Safe to say this game is over. Let's check out the final score. 130 to 109 bucks win that game 51 points for Shaq 23 rebounds so now we got, we got a 2-2 series tie with that series so nice 81-74 Denver versus Seattle game four let's jump into this Kevin Bynes comes to mind specifically how terrific of a shot blocker and rebounder he is here's Abdul Raouf out to the right wing Petrovic with the pass to Kemp. Good on the shot. Kemp's got 19 points. Kemp keeps putting up the points. Tonight, it's been all about the rain, man. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Three-pointer sinks the three-pointer. And the Nuggets lead by 11. Whenever he takes a three, that's a good shot. Plus, he had a good look at the bucket. You see why this team is up big. The screen from Kemp. Here's Abdul Raouf. And it's Leitner with the rebound. Leitner's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Leilock, Abdul Raouf covering. 
The pass to Morris. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's sent back by Kemp. To the paint. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. And one points in the game. An explosive leaper. This guy has bounced for days. Kemp beating the defender there with that big time vertical. And another great look at the 2K drive. Trying to close the gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one. Creating high percentage looks inside. Now here's Marley. Matumbo kicks to Marley. Matumbo sets a screen. Marley no good. Trail by nine. Here's Abdul Raouf. Shoots it. That one doesn't go. And the Nuggets going the other way. Laylock. Abdul Raouf covering. Dan Marley on the wing. And again, Denver no good. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Back to Kim. Ball stolen. Here's Marley. Count it. And the Nuggets lead by 11. Denver wins that game. That's a 2-2 series tie. And we're going to be jumping right into Bucks Bulls immediately. So let's do that. Over to David Aldridge. Well, during that last timeout, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what the head coach of the Bucks said to his team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Jordan over Shaq. It's blocked by Shaq. A force at both ends of the floor. O'Neal making an impact defensively. Right side, Harper. Down to five on the shot clock. He's been a dominant force on the glass for them in this one. Credit back to his physical play down low. Boxing guys out and winning those battles for the ball. Now here is Hardaway. Grant outside. It's to Hardaway. Screen by O'Neal. Hardaway passes to O'Neal. It's good. And now a four-point Bucks lead. And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. Here is Harper. And they double up Jordan. Back to Pippen. Rodman sets a screen. Here's Harper. Milwaukee with the rebound. They got a great look. Close in. Sometimes the ball just doesn't go through the hoop. On the wing, Hardaway. He's guarded by Harper. O'Neal is screen on Harper. Hardaway kicks to Shaq. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got his eighth assist in the game. Superb work from Shaq. Rolling with confidence after setting the screen. Now here's Pippen. Shaquille O'Neal dominating the glass. He's going all out on the glass. Every time a shot goes up, he's getting the positioning he wants and calling in the rebounds. That's a big man who knows his role. Grab the boards. Anderson passes to Hardaway. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Barry misses. The defense has to feel fortunate with that miss. He's not usually the guy you want to leave open from downtown. Stolen by Grant. Anderson against Harper. Stolen by Pippen. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Pippen's got the ball. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And he's going up for the alley-oop. King with the steal. Outside, Harper. Pass.
passes it to Pippen. Just fine on the clock. Chicago needs to get a shot off. Rodman no good. Milwaukee leading by six. Anderson outside. Outside Hardaway. Pops in the layup for two. Hardaway has got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. And when Hardaway starts cooking, he stays after it on offense. What a terrific scorer he is. Pippen against Hardaway. Jordan up top. Here's King to stop the drought. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, good job that time by King to take the contact and maintain this balance. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Milwaukee. Hatch checked in for Milwaukee. Kerr's checked in for the Bulls. Filling the role of a traditional center, King is a competent rebounder and defender. Plus, he is sturdy. Pat passes to Barry. Here's Pat. He's guarded by Hartman. Offensive rebound. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second-chance looks. And the Bulls making a change here. Jordan's checked in. What's up? On the free throw, no good. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for Chicago. There's the pass to Hart. Looking to end its cold spell. That shot, no good. Good D by Anderson. Bucks leading by seven. Pass to Barry. Feeds to O'Neal. And Shaq with the slam. Bucks win. 110-101. That's the end of that game pretty much. 45 points for Michael Jordan in the loss. But, uh, guys, <laughs> Bulls are at risk of getting eliminated in that series. Let's check out Sonic's Nuggets. I believe this would be game five. 2-2 two -two series uh, tie here. And the Sonics just might hold on to this one. Looks like they will. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that they're going to win game five and take a 3 2 series lead. 117 105. Final score to that game 30 points for Lafonso Ellis in the loss, 22 for Mookie Blaylock. And yeah, let's see. Are the Bulls going to lose? Is it going to happen? Is the dynasty over potentially? Hmm. Judging by the score, looks like the Bulls will win. They pretty much had it the entire way. So we're getting a Game 7. We're getting a Game 7, and it's going to be in Milwaukee. Well, Kevin, Let's check out Game 6. Denver... Nuggets. Sonics. Coach is going over with this team. This is still a close game, and he told us, guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. Thank you, David. That puts them in the lead. And the Nuggets lead by two. That's exactly the shot they're looking for. That's the one they wanted. Get it into his hand and let him do his thing. You have to lean on your guys in close games like this. The NBA is a star's league. Here's Kemp. He's good with the little jumper in close. Kemp's got it all tied up now for the Suns. Kemp keeps putting up the points. Tonight, it's been all about the rain, man. Pass to Leitner. And Sean Kemp picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Pass to Leitner. Leilock. Abdul Rauf covering. Five to shoot. 
kept alive. And it's the Kembe with the jam. The long arms of Matumbo. Excellent at using his size on the offensive glass. Here's Abdul Raouf. To the paint. Here's Kemp. And the officials call it for a three-second violation. You cannot afford mistakes like that, especially in a tight game. Denver's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on three. Pass to Leitner. A fadeaway. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Tell you what, the defense really struggling to find an answer for Matumbo. He's using that size of his to do a lot of damage offensively. Here's Abdul Raouf. Pass to Petrovic from the arc. Offensive rebound, Sonics. Well, when you dominate the boards like they have, you're going to win lots of games. Passes it to Kemp. And Kemp with the slam! A vicious dunker. Kemp is truly awesome whenever he takes flight. It's special to see him do his thing in the air. Marley passes to Morris. Leewak. Rebound by the Sonics. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space, had it all lined up, but just couldn't convert on the mid-range jumper. Bowling well, the pass to Abdul Raouf. Now the pass to Kemp. Here's Bowling from past the arc. And it's Denver with the rebound. Marley's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Morris. He's been up and in off the pretty assist. Morris has got nine points now in just the second half. Next trail by four. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. High post, Kemp. Here's Bowen. They grab their own miss. Kemp with the bucket. Showing off his strength and vertical. Kemp loves getting after it on the offensive glass. Now here's Marlon. Tight defense on him. Matumbo sets a screen. Leilon. Matumbo tipped back in for two. Matumbo's got six in the quarter. What an outstanding play by Matumbo. Showing up for his team with some assertive offense. Let's go. The shot by Abdul Raouf is no good. Denver leading by four. Pass to Marley. Shot, high post, and it's Denver scoring again. And this is Marley's role. He's out there to score, especially from the mid-range. Here's Abdul Raouf. It's Kemp on the wing. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Leitner's got six rebounds in the game. And here's Marley on the wing, Morris. Leilock doesn't get it to drop for him. Seattle goes the other way with it. This is it to Abdul Raouf. Outside, Kemp. Over Leitner. Gets the front of the rim and out to me. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender. But the touch was poor. On the way, Morris. Denver catch in the run. Now Matumbo. And here's Marley outside. Petrovic with the rebound. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are a stack any time it doesn't go in. Sean Kemp, big-time leader on this team. And this team really leans on him in the clutch. Here's Merlin. After the main shot from Sean Kemp. Throws it up high. And that's 
That's a huge shot. So we're getting a game seven here too. How about that? 34 points for Sean Kim, 24 and 14 for Takemi Matumbo. 102-97 end up being the final score in this match. Checking out game seven here. Bucks Bulls. Are we going to be able to jump into the game? If not, we'll at least check out the celebration. It looks like the Bulls are going to win. They're going to run away with this thing. Uh, damn. The Bucks were so close. Let's check out the celebration. And the Chicago Bulls will That's move on. The game. They've got to be excited, but also a little relieved. So much pressure on this team from the media, the fans, and the players themselves. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. They can see the finish line, but this last hurdle will probably be their greatest test. I'll tell you what, though, winning the Western Conference Championship is a big victory of its own. No matter how this season ends, it's been a successful one for them. And they'll represent the... Will this dynasty ever end? I don't know. Can Michael Jordan win his sixth ring? It's very possible now. 45 points for Jordan. I mean, he is absolutely crushing at these playoffs. I mean, it's kind of annoying to have the Bulls in the finals once again. But Michael Jordan is absolutely delivering. Absolutely just crushing it. Making his fourth straight finals. And the sixth in seven years. And by the way, guess who's joining the Bulls in the finals, guys? The Seattle Supersonics. Let's check out celebrations of this game. Here's Petrovic. And so the Seattle Supersonics have won the series. A challenging slate of games in the Western Conference. They were certainly tested. But that prepares them for what lies ahead. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. They know there's still a lot of work to be done preparing mentally and physically for an excellent team coming out of the East. It's going to take everything they have to accomplish their ultimate goal. Still, they get to celebrate tonight. And they've earned it as champions. How funny is that? Both the Nuggets and the Bucks lose Game 7 in their home court. They have to watch the other team celebrate making it to the finals uh, on, their, on their home court. Uh, yeah. So, Bulls, Supersonics, 1998 finals. Not quite like real life, of course. The Bulls faced the Jazz in 98. And they faced the Sonics in 96. Things got a little bit twisted, you know, and now we're getting Bulls, Sonics in 98. So we'll see how it goes. Could be a fun one. Hope you're looking forward to it. I am Sports Gamer. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.